guys, so we last left you off when we were hopping on a bus to head back to Panama City from Anton Valley. Um, it was a pretty uneventful bus ride. Our camera died, so um, filming kind of stopped there, but we got to our Airbnb. It is super cute here. What do you think? Should we do a room tour? Let's do it. Let's do it. Hola, buenos dias. Come on in. So here's the tour. This is it. <laughs> Living room. Kitchen over here. Really tall ceilings. Gotta love the decoration over here on the mirrors, pillows. Here we have the bed. Super comfy, super comfy. Great views of the city, of the skyline, downtown Panama. And here's the bathroom, super simple. All we really need, we can live here. And let me show you the best part. Check this out. This is the best part right here. This little private balcony with the views of the city skyline. Awesome. And it's a great central location here in Casco Viejo. Everything is walking distance. All the bars, cafes, shops, all within walking distance. Great location. Highly recommend it. Stopped over at this super cute coffee shop to get some water and I got a hot chocolate. Accidentally ordered Dan a hot coffee instead of iced. Oops. But also making friends with the locals. How awesome is this guy sitting here drinking with us? Dan nerd out about the Panama Canal and how it works. Dan? So, <laughs> nothing that you uh, you can't find out on your own on, on Wikipedia, but basically the Pan Panama Canal raises the boats up 85 feet and then back down. That's why you have the locks that raise the water up from the Atlantic side and then down to the Pacific side. There's an artificial artificial lake in the middle and they put that there to um, not excavate as much so that's the 85 feet that you go up and then you come back down short and sweet Wikipedia
happened that one of the boats that we watched pass by called the Maya paid $150,000 to cross the canal. Crazy. And that typically it takes 11 to 18 hours to cross. Yeah, I think 18. It's a long time. I have accidentally twins. 